So, for example, basically the younger generations generally believe basically that you know, capitalist organisations are much more likely to treat, treat their workers like commodities, but also mm -hmm. treat the planet like commodities. So, particularly in Europe, but also in the US, basically we're seeing the rise of what we call ethical capitalism. Now, ethical capitalism is, isn't new. Basically, it's been around for hundreds of years. Basically, organisations like Mars basically have actually sort of embraced it wholeheartedly. But this is based on the principle of for every dollar that I invest within my business, how do I maximise the profit that my business can make while also maximising the benefit of that $1 investment to people and planet? whether those people are within my business or external to my business, so communities, for example. I, I represent organisations that have about $50 trillion worth of assets under management, so organisations like BlackRock, UBS, Citigroup, Legal in General, those kinds of guys. And when we actually have a look at ESG, from an investment perspective, investors basically are now generally, staunchly investing in organisations that are able to demonstrate that they have strong purposeful ESG credentials, proper reporting and monitoring strategies, and so on and so forth in place.